those people who have watched my previous tutorial must be thinking that how can a subway station be that clean and perfect. There are always some dirt on walls and rust on pillars. In reality, everything has an imperfection. And in 3D, if you make the texture look imperfect, then you can make your scene closer to reality. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create materials and shader blending through which you can control materials and change their colors and their settings in real time. Then you will learn how to create decal materials which will be helpful to create leaking or graffiti or anything that can add details to your textures. In the end, I will share how you can create realistic global illumination using EV in which I have used cycles just to know how it will globally illuminate light inside the scene. And then I will try to achieve the results inside EV. I have already created the materials in the previous tutorial, but for the viewers who are new to it can watch this and who already have watched it can skip it. So first press shift A to search for image texture and load the diffuse texture and plug it into the diffuse and then search for the mapping node and then plug that into the texture. After that search for the texture coordinate and then uh, plug the generate into the mapping. The mapping node is used to scale, rotate or pan the textures. Now just duplicate the image texture and load the roughness texture and plug that into the roughness. After that, plug the mapping node to the roughness texture. And again, duplicate the roughness texture and load the normal map and search for the normal map again by pressing shift A and search the normal map. Now plug the normal texture into the normal map and normal map into the normal. And put the normal map to the linear. Now just plug the mapping node to the normal map. You can increase the strength to have more depth to the normal map. If you want to add ambient occlusion then duplicate the image texture and load the ambient occlusion texture add mix RGB and put it to overlay. Plug the ambient texture and diffuse texture to mix RGB and mapping to ambient texture. Then to create control for ambient, add a matte node between ambient texture and mix RGB and put the matte node to power. Now if you increase the value, it will increase the ambient occlusion texture intensity. You can also search for frame to add a box to arrange the nodes. You just need to select any node and put it into the frame and it will cover them. After that you can even label it by pressing N in the material node display. Change the label size to increase font size and then uncheck shrink to create more space for the node. Add a color ramp after the roughness map and play with the pointers to control the black and white values of the roughness texture. You can also combine it with the ambient occlusion to get roughness which is also based on ambient occlusion. 
add a math node and invert node because in blender black values are reflective and we want the cavity of the texture to be less reflective now just plug the ambient texture to invert and invert to the math node change the math node to power and then play with the pointers to get better results Now just use the frame box to arrange your materials and label it so that it would be easy for you to handle your project later even if, if you open your projects after some time. To mix two different textures into one material, you need a mix shader and then duplicate the whole node by pressing B and click and drag to select them and then shift D to duplicate them. Now you just need to change the label and load textures to save time. Now plug this shader node to the mix node so that you can have blending between these two textures. You can even check it by plugging it directly to the output node. Now frame the mixing and output node and label it. Now to create masks for the texture you need to have image texture. You can even paint it if you want to but to save time you can use textures to create blending between two textures which can be based on ambient occlusion, roughness or height map or any map you want to use but for this tutorial I am using ambient occlusion. After that add color ramp to it to have more control over it. Then add math node and you can use less than or greater than in this node which will help you to control the masking more. Now plug this node to the factor node of the mix shader. After that if you are using texture then you also need to plug the mapping node to it to have same mapping like the other textures. After that just play with the values to get the desired results. I have used the same technique to create the texture for the floor, pillars and for the floor sides. Now if you want to input your own color into it, you need to have mix RGB node in the end of the diffuse texture. It's up to you that you can use color or overlay or any other blending mode but I usually use the overlay and color to get better colors. You can also play with the factors to have blending with the colors.
for the decal texture you need to add a plane in the scene then assign material to it now search for the image texture and load the diffuse texture after that plug the color node to base color and the alpha texture to the alpha slot in the material blending mode you can try different blending but for this I'm using alpha blend after that scale and move the plane closer to the mesh If you want to add more details to it, use a color ramp after texture color and plug it into the roughness. Play with the markers or add markers to get more control over it. You can also use color ramp with the alpha node to control the masking of the texture. After that, you can use the area lights to see how reflections are working. For the graffiti material, you just need to copy paste the whole node system in any other material that is assigned on the plane. After that, just load the graffiti texture and change the blend mode to alpha hashed. And then check the backface culling. Alpha hash prevents some clipping error. If you have those errors, just use alpha hash blending. After that play with the color ramp to have some roughness on the graffiti. You can play with the blend mode to have blending between the two mesh but you can also use the normal texture map of the wall with its scaling settings and assign it in the graffiti material. But you need to play with the mapping to match the wall normal texture of the graffiti texture to the wall texture. In this way I have created the leakings and graffiti of the walls and side puddles of the floor. You can also use it on multiple places depends on what you want for your scene. To create atmosphere for lighting go to the scene tab and under color management tab change the look to low contrast. 
then lower down the exposure value and the gamma value to create darkness and use curves slightly. Then just change the black level values. It helps to create some atmospheric color to the lighting. Change the red value to minus 0.028, then the green value to minus 0.025, then in the white level, change the green to 1.310. While rendering this scene in cycle, I just found out that the blender was giving some bright colors and also was adding more to the global illumination. So for that what I did I started some experiments in Blender EV and I found that EV area lights were dull and was giving some low global illumination as compared to Cycles render. So I tried to bake light inside EV and found that if you are using area lights then the values starting from 500 to 1500 are good for global illumination for such survey scene inside EV. So what I did for each light, I used 250 value and combining the values side by side for each light was 500 and then I just baked it and the results were closer to cycles and that's pretty much about it. Hope you have learned something today. If you like my tutorial, then subscribe and support me on Patreon where you will be able to get the project files that I'm using in my tutorials. Thanks for watching.